Hello and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom and today I just wanted to show you this uh, deluxe pressure cooker that crisp the Ninja Foodie Deluxe and uh, I know the 8 quart's been around for a while I don't know if it's the same thing as the Deluxe or not so but anyway I'm going to open this thing up and we're going to see what's on the inside of it and so uh, let me get my handy dandy razor knife here and see if I can get this box open. Okay, now the first thing right on top here, we've got all this paperwork. We'll get into that in a minute, see what's in it. We've got this little rack here. Of course, got styrofoam. A cord hanging out. <laughs> okay, we have another type of rack here. We'll open them up in a minute and see what they are. Now we all know what this is here. This is the pressure lid. Well, that's nice looking, isn't it? It's got a little bit different look than the uh, old Ninja over here. I'll show you the old one in a few minutes. Once we get everything out of here, if I can get it out without getting in my own way. Okay, now it's finally out of the box. <laughs> Easier said than done, so take this off of it. Now, I'll tell you right now, that's uh, a little bit of a different look. A whole lot different look. Got the round knob on it on this one. And, but you still got your same thing over here for pressure and steam and slow cook and oh this one's got the yogurt uh, thing on it which the other one doesn't and of course it's got the sear saute and over here you've got the air crisp and the broil and the bake roast and the dehydrator and down below here you've got your temperature and your function and your time this right here is your little keep warm button or indicator and over here it looks like the power button right there and now let's see what's inside okay so far a lot of paperwork oh now this particular one you get one of these little mitts with it I love these little mitts. I like that. <laughs> a shame it only come with one. <laughs> okay, and then you get your crisper basket here. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the old Ninja Foodie or not, but this is quite a bit deeper than the other uh, uh, crisper basket. Now, of course, you got your ceramic pot here. I think it's ceramic. I know as long as I've been using my old Ninja, that's still pretty good about stuff sticking. You hardly ever get anything to stick in it. But there that is. And I don't know if you can see or not. It's got, it's got measurements right here where you can fill it up to. And that's the way you put the, that's the maximum height you can put the, for the pressure cooker right there. I assume, I shouldn't say it until I read the book. <laughs> so anyway, alright, just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and plug it up and we'll see how it sounds. Okay, now I'm going to hit the power button right here. And your little Fuji sign shows up there. 
Now, I guess as default, it goes to air crisp at 309 degrees for 20 minutes. And so now, we're going to shut the lid. Now we're going to hit the start button as soon as I find the start button. Oh, right here is the start button, the big ground indicator. And there it goes. I'm going to tell you right now, that's even quieter than the uh, than my other Ninja Fruity, the old one. That's quiet as a mouse right there. Never hear it going. And you see the indicator clock here is winding down. Okay, and I'll hit the stop button on it. Turn off the power. It says bye. <laughs> so I say bye to it. And you lift the lid. Nah, that's warm. You wouldn't want to let it sit there much longer before you uh, <laughs> before you wore a glove to take it out with. Okay, now we'll take this tape off here. You know, it's on here like this, just to hold that vent clear. And we're going to take, well this thing is different too, it's it just got a different feel to it. So anyway, we're going to put it on here, I'm going to and look they have, uh, they've improved these arrows. Now see that's the first I've noticed that, they're sort of white or silver, and you'll know how to set it on here. But now see they improved one of them, but the other one here, that you got to match it up with is still black, so it's really hard to see. Looks like I would have put just that on there, you know. But anyway, over here it's got a little, looks like a little padlock on it. And you turn it clockwise, and it's locked down right there. Okay, now that you got the uh, pressure lid on here, you come over here and you hit the power button. That shows up fruity again. Now that goes to the default, of course, you go change it over here, you go get a pressure. Okay, now it automatically, as default, goes to uh, high for 10 minutes. So I don't have anything in here, so I'm not going to turn it on Let try to build up steam. But just to, uh, just to show you that's the way you do it. Now these two back here are seem to be about the same. You know, you got your vent. And you got your seal over here. And it looks like, I might get you over any closer or not. Looks like the little button here, instead of red now, it looks like white or chrome or whatever you want to call it, or silver maybe. So, so it don't really matter what color it is as long as it works. So, anyway, now. Okay, now this one comes with a stackable rack or a little trivet or whatever you want to call it. I had to get Katie to show me how to put it together because I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> just lift straight, straight up on it like that, although we had it, I think we had it upside down. But anyway, you have to come here and go over your notches like that, and it sits right down in there like that and locks into place. So one of them, the little wires are running one way, and this one, the wires are running. The diff the, the, the crossways. So, so in that way, now you've got this double rack here that you can use. And I'm going to use that in my next video, I hope. And so anyway, that's going to make it real nice. What you've got here on this rack, just pick it up by these handles here, one on either side, and you can just set it right down in the ninja, like, just like that. Now, and I shut the air crisp lid or the pressure lid, whichever one you need, you know. So that's the way you do that. Okay, and also with this, you get this Ninja Foodie Deluxe Pressure Cooker, 50 mouthwatering recipes and, and charts for unlimited possibilities. And so I'm going to be doing some recipes out of this book here because some of these recipes are pretty good, I've found. So now, 
I think we'll set these things side by side so you can compare them a little bit. Okay, now here you can see the difference. Now this is the new Ninja Fuji Deluxe. And it's going to stand at 14 inches and a quarter. And the original Ninja Fuji over here stands at an even 13 inches. So you gain an inch and a quarter there. If you got to think about that, about height of your uh, under your cabinets or something. Okay, now you see the crisper baskets here. Now this is the, the deluxe. And it stands at about six inches, about six and a quarter. The original stands at even five inches. So, so you can get quite a bit more in this one here than you could this one to start with. Okay, now this is the pressure lid for the uh, Ninja Fuji Deluxe here. Uh, you can see you put it on there just like that and like I said, match up the arrows and turn it clockwise and it locks into place. Same thing with this one over here. Back just a second ago. change. So if you want to get in the bind and lose one of your lids, you know you can always fall back on your other lid to uh, operate it. That sort of surprised me that, that they would let both of them fit like that. So most people they gotta make some little change you know so you can't use it. Okay now this Ninja Fuji Deluxe here is model number FD402 LP3 and that's your uh, 8 quart and the original one I have over here is model number OP302 107 and that's your 6 quart and both of these well I don't know about this one yet I haven't tried it but this one over here works really great and so and I'm hoping that the uh, New deluxe here is going to work really great too. I like the finish on it. You can see it's a few little different colors. Don't forget to untape this thing in the back here. This will be very important. Pull it out like that and you have to empty out. And sometimes it fills up with water depending on what you're cooking. It might need to be emptied. Okay, now according to the label on these, this, the new one, the Ninja Fuji Deluxe is 17, uh, 1760, 1760 watts. And the original Ninja Fuji was kind of a mere 1460 watts. So if this has done a great job at 1460, I can imagine what this one over here is going to do at 1760. So we're going to find out later on. So anyway, thanks again for watching my little video on this brand new Ninja Fruity Deluxe here. All new look. I haven't seen this look before with the round button and the little knobs on the side here. So if, you, if you've been cooking a lot of stuff and you don't have quite enough room in, in the original Ninja Fruity, you might want to consider this 8 quart here. Well, it is a whole lot deeper and you can put more stuff in it so until next time thanks again for watching if you can give us a thumbs up and join our channel we sure appreciate it and until next time y'all have a real good and safe day now goodbye